Some aerial remote sensing of a large region of Mexico has revealed hundreds of ancient Mesoamerican ceremonial centers, including an extremely large one around the site, over the site really, of San Lorenzo, the main Olmec capital. The LIDAR basically has pinpointed 478 ceremonial centers in areas that are linked with the Olmec and the later Maya, which they believe what they found dates to at least 1100 BC, although it's known that the Olmecs were around from 1800 BC. It's the largest such LIDAR study done in any part of Mexico, and it takes in the states of Tabasco, southern Veracruz, and parts of Chiapas, Campeche, and Oaxaca. Now, LIDAR is very interesting as it penetrates vegetation and pinpoint structures that otherwise might not be seen from the air or the ground. Now, the largest one they found is at San Lorenzo, and this is basically the most important and the oldest and largest Olmec site of all where 10 of the colossal stone Olmec heads were discovered and it's in this huge raised area kind of in the middle of two rivers going around it and it's so marshy it's so kind of swampy that they've had real trouble finding what's really there and as you can see from these aerial shots that I took just a couple of years ago when I was there, you can see that there's really not much left, just a few mounds and shapes of the kind of pyramids and elongated platforms and other such features. Obviously in the local museum there's much more and in Jalapa Museum where most of the artifacts are on display. The one at San Lorenzo measures 3,300 feet or around 1,000 meters by 900 feet or 275 meters with 20 platforms around this huge rectangular area. Now, each of these platforms is elevated, sort of looking down into this huge kilometer long plaza and it orientates pretty much north, just slightly west of north and we find the same orientation in many of the sites in Olmec land, suggesting they were using the compass. We know that a San Lorenzo, a magnetic compass, was actually discovered, which predates those from ancient China. And this was put together by University of Arizona archaeologist Takeshi Inamata, who led the study and published it in the journal Nature Human Behavior very recently. So what we have here is not just San Lorenzo, we have potentially 478 sites have been recorded and been mapped using LIDAR. So potentially many more Olmec heads, many more artifacts, and many more sites are gonna be revealed and it should unlock the secrets of who the Olmecs really were. And what we have with the number 20, this is part of the Zolking calendar. This, there's like 13 months of 20 days a part of the sacred ceremonial calendar, which is also a total of 260 days, which marks the gestation cycle. And it also marks other aspects of um, different calendars that we know they were using. For instance, the Zolkin calendar was used to predict eclipses because two Zolkin periods of 520 days equals three eclipse half years during which exactly three eclipses will occur. And it's represented by 13 months of 20 days with recognizable glyphs that were used for thousands of years. At Olmec sites such as Tres Zapotes, Chiapa de Corzo, and a few other sites actually have long count and Zolkin calendar dates encoded within the sites, suggesting they certainly developed the calendars themselves that were later adopted by the Maya. What's also interesting is that the ceremonial center, the huge one you know, kilometer long rectangle of raised platforms um, is very similar to the one found last year um, which is, it looks like it's the same kind of shape as the San Lorenzo one, but the one called Aguada Fenix in Tabasco State, near the Guatemalan border, which was again found with LIDAR, was a big sensation in the news, also dates to this era, about 1000 BC, so again, it could be evidence of Olmec construction, and with these hundreds of sites that have been discovered, it really does suggest the Olmecs were much more prevalent and widespread 
and more influential than people realized. But what I'm interested in is not only what's going to be discovered, because we're basically looking at sites that are just not known about. It's also the orientation of the site is very interesting because it's now shown that San Lorenzo is pretty much in the same kind of alignment, which is a few degrees west of north. La Venta, for instance, is eight degrees west of north. And this was thought perhaps to be a mistake at La Venta. Is it a mistake at San Lorenzo? I don't think so now because Marion Popano Hatch in the early 70s and late Andrew Collins in the Cygnus mystery believes that these sites, this alignment was towards stars of Ursa Major, the Big Dipper and Sadit or Gamma Cygni, the central star of Cygnus. And they were both used at around the time of 2000 BC through her computer calculations. And so we have some really interesting features here. We have not only the giant site with these 20 platforms, 10 on either side, which could represent aspects of the Zolkin calendar, but we also have that could be the same orientation as Laventa linking with specific stars. And so we have a lot going on at San Lorenzo now that wasn't noted before because you just couldn't see it. And so with these discoveries, we have a lot to think about. And one of the things is obviously what else is going to be discovered. Well, I'm very excited about what could be discovered now in Olmec land. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a complete Olmec fan. I've been studying the Olmec since 2003, along with JJ as well, who's obsessed by them as much as I am. So we're going to be going back there early next year to explore further. We know some people who own some of the land where some of these sites are, so we'll report back. And also when more news on the discoveries of this report uh, are revealed, we'll let you know what's been found because... The implications are massive because we're talking about hundreds of sites being found that have not been reported on. There's been rumours of them, there's been artefacts found, there's been statues found or the odd column and things like this. So potentially many more colossal heads could be found. That's what's really interesting to me. And let's see what happens. We'll keep you up to date. Um, but for now, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this short video outlining this new discovery. Links to the papers are below. And please check out the Origins Conference on the 6th of November, which we're going to be running. But anyway, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoy this quick update. Please subscribe. Please become a patron if you can. And please check out our other videos. We've got a lot of videos on the Olmex. We've done a whole series of lectures myself and JJ's done some as well. So check those out. We'll put some links in below and we'll see you next time.